Today we will be going over how to install the bottom end load kit in a 4 inch square door rail. So now that you've opened up your PV end load kit, some of the components within the kit are the adjuster block, the adjustment screw, your PVPL, and your bottom end load kit. So assembling some of these components to get ready to install them in your door rail, you're going to take your PV uh, block, the adjustment screw, and two shim fasteners that are included with the kit. You'll slide both of these shims onto the adjuster screw and fit it into the block. If two is too tight, remove one and, s and then put it in the block. Now you will take the PVPL and screw it onto this assembly. Now once we get it screwed on, one thing that we want to make sure of is that looking at the PVPL there is a small ridge and a large ridge. We will want that large ridge facing the bottom of the adjustment block. So now once you have your sub-assembly complete, we will want to install it in the door rail. Uh, the door rail comes pre-assembled and we will want to have to remove the end cap off of the end where the pivot is being installed. So you'll just take a uh, Phillips screwdriver and remove the end cap from the door rail. Once removed, we can slide the sub-assembly into the base of the door rail. And now we will want to line up the holes through the pivot adjuster block with the mounting holes in the door rail itself. So mounting the, P, the adjuster block into the door rail, they are number 832 fasteners, and we will want to apply thread locker to each fastener when installing and we will be using a 332nd Allen key to tighten it down. So once we have the fasteners tightened down for the adjuster block, we will want to measure the gap between the adjuster block and the PVPL. The gap should be approximately a quarter of an inch to get your ideal pivot location of 2 and 5 eighths from the edge of the end cap. So we will look, we do need to make a slight adjustment. So adjusting that distance, you'll want to use a 3 16 Allen key and insert it into the back of the adjuster block into the, the fastener and turn clockwise to move the PVPL closer to the edge of the end cap and counterclockwise to move the PVPL away from the edge of the end cap. So once we have that centered, we are good to continue. And then the, the next step is installing the quarter 20 pusher screw into the threaded hole between the PVPL. So that is going to take a 3 16 T handle and it already has pre-applied Loctite on it so no Loctite will need to be applied. We will just start this fastener in the threaded hole. We don't have to over tighten it, we just need to start it because the they will, these fasteners will be tightened once the door rail gets applied to the glass. The last step is to just reinstall your end cap, put it on the end, and then using a Phillips screwdriver, we will tighten down the end cap screw onto the end cap. So once all this is complete, you're still left with your PV end load kit uninstalled in the door rail. We recommend that it is not installed until the door rail is seated onto the glass because 
the, they need to be able to get gain access to each of these pusher screws to tighten the door rail onto the glass.